Dr. Matthias, what are you doing here? I have a word. I know that you and David were close. David? I really don't want to talk about David right now. I think you ought to hear about this. There's been an accident down at the lab. I really don't want to talk about David's old work. I don't really know how to tell you this, but... You see, David's disappeared. He's gone, Miss Whitaker. Hello? Hey, Sam. David. I've had enough of this. Sam, just hang on. I can explain. Something happened. You were at the lab yesterday. No, you got to do your isolation thing for a long time. I get it. How did you know? Never mind. Sam, listen. I won't go through with it. I won't do this until I've made things right with you. No, we've been through this today, David. You're too late. You had your chance. Sam, I know what I did was unforgivable. David, you want to lock yourself away from the world to do your stupid experiments, then good riddance. Is that really how you feel, Sam? David, what the hell happened to you? Sam, thank goodness you're here. You know, you've got a lot of nerve coming here after yesterday, David. What was yesterday? What was yesterday? No. You know, you never showed up to anything, David. My birthday party last year, our first date, my mother's funeral. But never did I dream that you would actually leave me standing at the altar. Sam, please, I can explain. And of course you show up here drunk. Sam? Please listen. There was this huge breakthrough down at the lab. That's why I couldn't make it to the wedding. Matthias called me in. In hindsight... So you blew off our wedding so you could hang out with your physicist buddies. Sam, I need you to listen very carefully to what I'm about to tell you. Go to hell! <sighs> Sam! Do you remember my research, my theories of fourth dimensional navigation? It works. Oh, yeah, I get it. You abandoned me because you were too busy time traveling. No, Sam. Not yet. Oh. Get out of my house, David. Oh, I am telling you the truth, Sam. The truth? Half the time, you're so secretive, I can never get anything out of you. And the other half, you're just plain not there. Sam, please hear me out. The past version of me is soon going to go under a specific physical and mental training regimen in isolation for well over a year for the testing of human transfer through space-time. Well, if things are going so well for you, David, then why are you here? 
Uh, you've made it quite clear that you don't need me. I understand. And if you would rather do your stupid science projects, which, if you haven't noticed already, is all that you have right now, then we are finished. Sam, I came here because I need your help. Things don't go well for me. Oh, my body is weakening by the hour. I came here because you were the only person I could ever trust. I've heard enough of this. I need you to find me the past, a present version of me. I don't want to hear from you again, David. Sam, please, please, Sam. <laughs> Please! This is, this is going to happen all over again, Sam! Goodbye, David! Sam! Stop me from doing it! Sam? 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 Hey, Sam. Huh? What have you got there? It's a letter from a guy I was engaged to a long time ago. Really? Well, he must have been a fool to have lost you. Well, go ahead, let's hear it. I think it's time for you to go. Wait, Sam, I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Whatever happened to him? About a year and a half ago, my ex-fiance came over to my house in a robe acting drunk and insane. And that was the last time I ever saw him. He died a couple days later. They found him. Just lying in a gutter somewhere. Oh, Sam. Why are you telling me this right now? Because I think it's my fault. Dear Sam, there's so much I wish I could tell you. Not a day goes by that I don't regret leaving with such anger between us. But the climax of all my work these past 18 months is finally about to come to pass. Maybe when I get back we could, you know, Maybe just try to start all over? David, we're ready to begin.